I, I almost I almost forgot what this was. Especially the bathrooms. Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing gloves. Okay, that was only that those few stuff. Too bad you're wearing too bad you're wearing short sleeves in that one though. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know, knowing the like justice system of Delfino, they'd probably mistake Luigi for Mario. Probably. Which is probably why he never goes to Delfino. Yeah. It's like the closest he gets is that one board in Fortune Street. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is I, I know like thinking of Mario Cannon is like lol, but like it <laughs> Are we led to believe like Sunshine <laughs> is supposed to be after um Luigi's Mansion or before because Because of King Boo. Yeah, because of King Boo. Like, you'd think there'd be much more of a big reaction to that. That version of King Boo, I don't even think it's called King Boo in Japan, so <laughs> Like What what is it then? I don't know. Research! No, I don't feel like I'm tired. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Just yeah. Luma meanwhile, just... we turn a black hole. Meanwhile, we turn a. Oh, yeah, we 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 form a planet around a black hole. That's a good idea. Oh right, this is what this is like a instance where like you don't actually get a launch die. You have to actually use the cannon yourself. Okay, so this is basically Hurry Scurry Galaxy on steroids because literally every platform has a music note. So you have to be kind of clever about how you do this. Um. Because after a point, it, it's going to get, like, kind of messy. But other than that, it's basically the same idea. Okay, wait, I think I found something. While he was named King Boo in the localizations, the original Japanese version assigned him the same name as the Big Boo spot in Mario 64 and later Mario P uh, Pinball Land. I see. Meaning, it, it sh and it shows the, I think it's Katakana, meaning Boss Boo. Okay. Uh, Damn it. But both of the, those also have an additional different Japanese name. Mm. Interesting. It's uh, yeah. It's it's only Boss Boo or or or, or Big Boo in ja in, J in Japan. Everywhere else is King Boo. Okay, so I guess I guess Japan sees it as like was it like more like the Boos from '64 or like the Big Boo from Mario World? I guess so. If if yeah. Since that's the case, that makes a lot more sense than it just being Foul King Boo because, yeah, at that point, it's just another random Moog, as opposed to, like, the guy that stuck Mario inside a painting, which you'd think, yeah, again, you'd think there'd be an, a reaction to that, so. Peach barely reacts to Bowser some days, like, it's, this is just well, normal for them. Well, in terms of Bowser, I think they just expect it at this point, but King Boo is more of a, like, it's nowhere near as much of a regular occurrence, so... Oh, it will be when next level of games makes Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion 4. I would prefer they make a new Punch-Out game before that, but... Yeah, but what's <laughs> gonna make more money? Yeah. Punch-Out on... I, 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 both of them, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Punch-Out Wii was like 2009, so I think it's high time we got a new game. And then I infinitely fall for the planet. Yeah, let's have some fun. Whee! Yeah, you can't fall out of this, don't worry. You just kind of spin around until you hit the star. <laughs> the cage match. Whee! <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing that. Wait, now that you have the star, there's nothing pulling you to gravity. Or no, no center of gravity anymore. Oh no, there was a center of gravity. It's a tiny molecule. <laughs> yeah. I like how this, the stars kind of just have their own trail for Mario to just get back, I guess. He probably, yeah, he, he probably, yeah, he probably, I like to imagine he holds on to it. Yeah. Okay, so, so if he gets hit by a comet, comet, then what happens? Bowser, Bowser, Bowser in, it's Bowser in the Hungry Luma. That sounds like the greatest, um, sitcom ever. What? Bowser and the Hungry Luma. Bowser and the Hungry Luma! <laughs> oh yeah, this is a, another shortcut, I guess. Just make this uh, a bit quicker. And now, yeah, so we have our way back up now. It's yeah. a trail of piss! <laughs> oh! I had to take a piss. Yeah. That stupid hey. Mario piston thing. Hey, what's that red house over there? So oh, what's that yes. big house over there? I wonder what that's all about. 
Luigi's yes. quarters. <laughs> I'm looking at the star bits firing into the eyes and it, into the mouth, and it's like kind of hurting my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I never look at that directly. Luigi, don't look directly. <sighs> yeah. Sans Barrel Galaxy. Which one's this? I think I might know. We'll see what the st we'll see what it is when we see it. I'll probably recognize it as soon as we actually see the galaxy. Choose a favorite snack. Oh, they, they're using the the American spelling. <laughs> oh, oh, this. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So look at that. Look at the I word favorite. Do... Sorry. Good, good I think we should do. I think we should do King Boo. I think we should do Boo because we haven't done Boo Mario. Yeah, I haven't done Boo in a while. I normally just run through this with um, uh, B Mario, so mm. that's interesting because I, I don't know which is like considered harder for this. It's just because like both of them have their specific obstacles, like tailored for them. Oh no! I don't want the love. Get away. Very attentive. you. <laughs> It's, it's still contact damage. Yeah. So how do they mate then? <laughs> they, uh, they you don't, you don't want to you want to know. Well, I mean, I assume boos are just like dead Mario enemies. So whenever oh, like part. whenever you kill like a goomba, I guess like you make another boo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is a kind of that this is, is this is a cool sequence. That, that, that is really fucked up. Yes. Oh, I just run across- I just jump across. Yeah! Not like that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm sorry, the fact that he's like still like, kind of like... <laughs> barreling <laughs> makes it better. Yeah, th th this is at least a checkpoint, so... Hi! Hi! It's bright because of the moonlight. You don't say. That is pretty- that is pretty, though. You need to like get an <laughs> opening so you can like... Jump across. There's obviously like a shorter thing somewhere. Well, no, rather it um, uh, if you keep following it, it's gonna because it just goes back. Oh in on Jesus! Okay. <laughs> man, th man, if only if only if only that one jiggy in Banjo Two was this easy. Duh. I like how that the that one jig uh one jiggy has like an easy and hard mode equivalent because I think if you destroy the machine, it does actually affect the um. The uh, platforms. Does that make it harder? I think. Because like, there's one thing I know. Because like, it, it makes the plot, it makes it spin faster. Yeah. Something makes it spin faster, and like sometimes the phys and sometimes the difficulty is do the physics want to work. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes I sometimes I'm talent trotting up there, and he just decides no. Yeah. So like, if you like, sometimes the um, pla the planet or whatever is like in a position where you just fall off. Yeah, no matter how high you jump up on it. Yeah. Rough. Okay, this Lava is a- reactor. This is a really weird one, because this is at the point where the game is gonna start, like, redoing bosses. Uh, yeah, King Caliente. This is really weird, because I don't know why uh, the King Caliente refight is a grand star boss of all things, because it kind of fills out a place, if you ask me. He wanted revenge. Yeah, but I don't have a problem with this fight. It's just, it's just, it's just this planet. It's just this planetoid and then landing on the surface. Yeah, I don't have a problem with like the refight specifically, but I feel like it should have been placed somewhere else because this is well, not like, really... like it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be a grand star. You're saying basically, like they, sh they should have done like something. I, I, I get the idea yeah. of the fight though, because it's like I think those platforms sink the longer you, is if you stay on them. So it's basically telling you don't stand, don't stay in one spot. Yeah, like so it, it's just it, not only that it's a grand star boss, but it's the it's the sixth one in the game, and like it's like that. I feel like that's kind of underwhelming to have like a refight from like level one <laughs> be this like late in the game for like six a, grand star already. Well, six. Well, I guess Wait, uh, you do realize you don't have a bullet belt chasing you, right? Yeah, I know. Oh, trying to find a shortcut? 
Well, I'm just trying I to, mean, like, figure out where the launch star is. Yeah, I mean, I don't really... Yeah, I mean, I'm indifferent, like... <clears throat> if the fight is good, it's good. Like, yeah. I need more... Like, bookends are a thing in video games, like... I think Fiery Dino Piranha makes more sense, because that, that's, like, the last main level you do, or, like... The it, first main level you do. Well, well I mean, like, it, the when you fight Fiery Dino Piranha, um, that's probably the last main star you play, which bookends the the game in the sense that, like, this is a harder fight of the first boss you, fight, you faced. Um, so, I like that more. I think I think if they live on a planet where like this is where's where's any kind of food source? But yeah, Galaxy uh, Two the melons. Yeah, no, Galaxy Two I think makes more sense because they do actually end on a a direct Bowser Junior fight. Can I give up any more green stars? My dad's gonna be mad. <laughs> I've caught my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat, King Caliente. <laughs> I to be kind of quiet. <laughs> Ah, ah, oh, oh. Also, why is the platform not sinking? Because cut the- Cutscene power. Yeah, cutscene power. <laughs> but yeah, I- I don't know, it, it's kind of, I think what- The main thing that disappoints me about this is the fact that, like, the first two Bowser Jr. fights were so good that it kind of ends on a whimper, if you ask me. Jr. couldn't mm. be bothered to make another mech, so we just yeah. called in one of the- Called one of the employees who hadn't filled in all their time. Dad took away my Dad took away my allowance. <laughs> also, oh, this... the best I got. <laughs> I mean, this last get hit gets pretty intense, but still. Let's see. I don't know. Junior, Junior is a child. Bowser union rules would not allow him to work any more than two boss fights. <laughs> So about to literally resurrect King Caliente to get the job not done in this it, case. Yeah. It's but it's budget. It's budget like Mega Man Six. Yeah. Also the platform stops sinking. Yeah, I feel I feel like this fight is more just uh filling a quota more than anything. <laughs> Who's hungry? <laughs> I am. But there's no spaghetti, so this will do. Uh, do you guys, um, do you guys want want to do the um, the house level, or do you want to stop here? Well, there's still this. Well, yeah. Still um, haven't gone any more storybook hmm. chapters. I think um, doing the star is kind of like we usually one of the last. Using the house is usually one of the last things I do. Oh, really? The garden. Yes. Mostly because it's just. It feels more grandiose to end on that. Mm. Yeah, I, I also uh, like how. I, I guess we'll do. And we'll. Let's see what, let's see what time it is. Um, it's. it's Half past midnight for me. I mean, the level's pretty short, but even me, bro, are now top ten in East Sands do tier list and Smash Ultimate. <laughs> are you fine? Are I mean, you... me, brawler. I mean, me, brawler is fun if you understand how it works. Are you are you fine for one more level, Scrappy? I muttered that that will be fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is it. Yeah. Welcome, welcome back to the start to of the game. Gate. Yeah. It's interesting how this is like, they do this like, at such a late level. And now I get an exclusive power up. Yes. This planet, it's very dear to me. <laughs> I look forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. Holy crap! Freaking old on you! <laughs> yeah. Never ask a lady her age. <laughs> the Luma that I've been traveling with you may also grow to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. 
I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. Space mom. But I never thought all this would have happened. Meanwhile. Yeah. I don't must really trust you. But how about this? Hey, look. Hey, it's the first purple coin mission, and we're it's the only one we're gonna see for a little bit. If you grab all 100 purple coins, I'll, you'll gain my trust. And now this is one of the coolest power-ups. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shame they barely use it. As in, they never use it beyond here. Yeah. Yeah, use your power el my your power elsewhere. It, in other words, you can only use it in the hub world. <laughs> so also, I like the, also I like this color scheme. Yeah, it's really cool. This is yeah, it's a really cool power up. But the thing is, yeah, like we said, it, it's really underused. It's only used for this and just flying around the comet observatory for like extra one ups or whatever. And like that's a massive shame. Like I don't think this should have been used for like a lot, but just having like maybe one. Like one mission where you just went around flying across like mi like miniature planets. Um, I guess they could have had like collect silver stars or something like that. Like something simple like that where you're flying around the galaxy but through your own fruition and not through launch stars would have been really cool. But it, they just don't do anything like that. It is worth noting that this power up it, it is on a timer. Yeah, it is a very long timer though. This is basically just a go out and have fun kind of level, so there's nothing really stressful going on here. But it always has the occasional Goomba if you're careless. <laughs> yeah, death to Goomba. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is like the one power-up between the Galaxy games that's just not used. Because <laughs> they usually they use make good use of the power-ups in these two games. It's like, I appreciate having like a proper full flight power-up in a 3D Mario after the wing cap. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's just sadly underutilized, and it's a shame. I, I do love the theme, and I love the color scheme for Mario. Yeah. Like, what is the actual title of this? Is he called Red Star Mario or Flying Mario? I don't know. So I, I like to imagine they probably planned more for this thing, but they just didn't have time, maybe? I don't know. Well, it's a good thing we got a sequel that could cover more level- oh, wait. Yeah. I mean, Galaxy 2 also cuts Ice Mario, so... Which is fine. I mean, it, do it doesn't need to bring back everything, but... You know, it's funny, every now and then I just get lost on this planet and I just try forget where to find a coin. Also, the only red star. Yep. I forgot cool. it was a red power star. It is cool. I like that. Just to make it special. Do you, do you what say does Luma say now? Hmm, not bad. Oh, that's it. Oh yeah, this this guy actually is floating around the Comet Observatory. Yeah, I basically just neglected talking to him, but he has he's always been there. <laughs> He's a Sundere. <laughs> a joke. <laughs> Gateways purple coins. Hooray! 59. And Hungry Luma. Oh! Yeah, because yeah, there's a Hungry Luma for that little point. Okay, uh, yeah, we're basically- oh, that one. Yeah, I don't remember what this stage is, but we're basically done for today. But what I'm gonna do, it, just for this end bit, is just show this off because yeah now we can use the red star on, on the observatory see this red star you can use it any time yep, yep that's what mama said yeah so you, you just have like some a bunch of red stars just across like around the observatory and just again just fly around to find secret one-ups which eh, i mean there's something i guess but i again i just wish yeah. this was used more what happens if you, what happens if you run to the core I don't you die. <laughs> I don't think anything. Find out. I don't think anything happens, but <laughs> do you just bonk? Wait, do you just bonk? <laughs> yeah. You just that just makes you bonk. That's kind of funny. 
Yeah. Should've, that should be an instant game over for everyone. <laughs> no, you just lose all your lives. It's like, Mario, what are you doing? You're stupid. It's like you got hit by the it's like you got hit by the black things in um uh, what's the game called? In uh Donkey Kong Country 2. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember what you're talking about. Do you remember? Do you remember the? Do you remember the? Do you remember the Kremlings and the barrels that when they run into you, you even oh. lose bananas or one ups. Oh yeah, those things. Okay, I think like Anderson. Oh, 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 oh can we go? Uh. It's like an upside down castle. Huh. I never gone this low before, actually. Should I have an instant gain, instant life loss when you get too far away from the observatory's center of gravity? Well, that is. Oh <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Would it be funny if Luigi actually set commented about your new appearance. Oh yes. Yeah. For a point. I don't know if that, he that's, does. That's, that's, that's when Luigi plays. He gets the obviously it's just this with, but it's green instead of the red. Right. right. Do you say anything? I don't think he does. Ah, no. Nah. You're still you're still tired. <laughs> Luigi, you weren't even that close to me. I'm surprised <laughs> they don't make this a costume in Smash Bros. Actually. That'd have been cool. Like okay. black and red, because like no, like that would be a nice obscure one too. Yeah. It's sad that we have to consider this obscure now because of how old the game is and how underused this power up is in the series. Mm. Well, this is literally the only time you ever see it. Yeah, 2007, god. Well, I imagine they don't use this color scheme because, well, Mario already has a red color and he already has like a brownish black color. Also, I'm just activating this now for convenience's sake. We're not even gonna go inside the garden. No, not, not today. Um, Alright, I guess, are we, guess, are we done? Yeah. I think that, yeah, I think there is a one up like underneath this platform here. Yeah, I, yeah, still, I saw yeah. it earlier. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, yeah. So yeah, next time we'll, we'll do the Hungry Luma stage and then go through the garden. So, we. I just kind of. Oh yeah, down. and the uh, entrances to the sub hubs. You have like upper, upper uh, entrances now. I guess <laughs> so you can enter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're getting there. So, yeah. I've got nothing else, so see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Have a good night, everyone.